Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, July 29th, 2016 by Gaia Blumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I ride the current of love. And I had two energy mantras, so I'm going to give you the other one too. And the other one is, love flows through me. So love fl flows through me and I ride the current of love. And today we've got an interesting day. We have Uranus going retrograde today and we also have knocking things over, Ma Mercury in the final uh, final full day of being in Leo. We've got some major mental energy going on too with the moon in Gemini. All those aspects are bringing the mental energy to the surface. And we begin the day with the moon in Gemini kind of doing a T-square thing. So it's the same thing that we had yesterday morning where we had like the fixed T-square, except this is a mutable T-square. This is the moon opposite Saturn, nine degrees and then the moon squaring Neptune at 11 degrees. So we've got the moon in Gemini. The moon in Gemini is curious. It wants to know. Saturn in Sagittarius is still retrograde for just a little bit longer, going back in, reviewing our beliefs. And this is actually, I think, a beautiful connection. This connection, this opposition between the moon and Saturn beginning the day is like you don't have to have it figured out. All you need to do is get inside and dig in. What is moving you right now? What is making you feel right now? Where is your desire energy leading to? We have, you know, Mars finishing up in Scorpio, helping us really dig into our desires so that when Mars moves into Sagittarius, we're ready to take that aim with these desires that we shifted during that retrograde. So the moon with Saturn is like, okay, I don't have it all figured out. That's okay. I'm going to look inward and see where that's trying to direct me. The moon squaring Neptune tells me that there's some more information out there. Spirit is wanting to talk to you. Spirit is wanting to communicate with you. And you may have to just shut up for a minute and try to shut down that mind so that you can let the messages come through. Because I know for me, I have a really active mind that's always telling me, every possibility in the world that could be going on. And so this is like, get quiet and listen. Get quiet and notice the signs that are all around you because this is at 11 degrees. That is that degree of reflection. So the universe is trying to reflect the answers to you, but if you're too busy in here, you're not gonna have a chance to communicate with the universe and notice what the universe is trying to say back to you. We then have Mercury finishing up in uh, Leo, like I said, squaring Mars in Scorpio. So this is at 28 degrees. This is that degree of knowing your worth. And the uh, Mercury, Mercury in Leo, wants you to shine. It wants you to express your love. And yet Mars in Scorpio, you may not quite be ready to do that. You may not quite be feeling safe. You're like, I don't really know. Is that is that the path I want to take? Is that really in alignment? So you're going to have to like find a way to work with that energy and really sink in, ride that current of love. What I really love in this energy is actually Uranus going retrograde. So the first thing I want to say with Uranus retrograde, Uranus retrograde can feel like an intense version of Mercury retrograde. Electronics, your mental energy can go a little haywire. So hold space and patience for any of that energy because Uranus energy is very, very, very electrical. It really stimulates. It also can stimulate your nervous system. So this is really a call, again, I've said this all week, to ground in. My commitment during this time of Uranus retrograde is going to be to get outside in nature. And there's two reasons for that. The one reason is because uh, Uranus and Aries is all about who you are. And so Uranus retrograde is wanting us to tune into our I am vibration. And we are nature. We are animals. And you have to get out there and be in the wild to really bring that essence, bring forth the wild within you. The other thing is being in nature is really grounding for our nervous system, for our energy. Like hugging a tree is a really good thing. It roots you in. It grounds you in. And so getting out in there can be really great too for the sense of of your nervous system. So I highly recommend that. Uranus going retrograde. Uranus is going to be retrograde from 24 degrees all the way back to 20 degrees and it's going to be retrograde through the beginning of December. So we have a long time to get into this energy. But what I'm getting with this is this is an opportunity to tune into your inner currents. Again, like I said, Uranus is very electrical energy. 
And Uranus in Aries wants us to liberate and evolve our I am vibrations. And so this is a chance to get in to your inner currents and find out where are they leading you? What are they really telling you? We are so influenced and stimulated by everything outside of your, ourselves. This is a call to come in and notice what your currents are saying. Are they telling you to go to bed earlier? Are they telling you to get off the computer? Are they telling you to pick up that book? Are they telling you to get outside? This is about your personal electrical energy and getting in alignment with it because this is part of what's trying to direct you on your path. And if you can get alignment with your inner currents, then getting in alignment with outer currents will come a little bit more naturally. Uranus uh, rules the sign of Aquarius, which has those, you know, those dual flowing currents. And to me, one of the uh, meanings of that glyph is finding that balance between the inner current and honoring the way you want to move the way your system works with how it works outside of you. So we're going to work on that through Uranus Retrograde. And we've got a while, but no time like the present to start. And again, getting out in nature is going to be one of the best ways that you can do that. So the cards that I have, I have Maturity in Reverse and the Source Upright. Um, and I love it. Both of these cards are aces. And I think this is where we're going. We're going to find a new level of wholeness within ourselves as we move through Uranus Retrograde. We've got to start at the Source. And the Source is that light. It's that current. It's that God divinity within. So tune into that energy. Now part of that <laughs> is releasing the past. I've got this clean to the past card. You don't have to let your past define you. Yes, you can learn from it, but it doesn't have to define you. The other card that I have is the rebirth card in reverse, which is kind of like maturity in reverse. So we're getting there. The universe is like, it's okay that you don't have it figured out just yet. You're not expected to have it figured out just yet. Get into your creativity. These are both threes. I've got like I've got some like major like pairs going on. These are both threes. Get into your creativity. Celebrate the moment. Celebrate who you are. And just try to be in joy as you get in alignment with your currents. To finish off, I've got whale communication. And this really, I think, goes hand in hand with the last day, last full day of Mercury in Leo. Express yourself. Communicate your love. It is safe for you to be loving. It is safe for you to communicate your love. And I think one of the things with communication is that the universe is trying to tell us that you can communicate and not necessarily expect it to be reciprocated in any expected way. Just shine your love. Put it out there and see what happens. So that is it for today. Have a beautiful day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.